Why Barcelona could be kicked out of the Champions League Barcelona finds itself in trouble as allegations emerge that the club made suspicious payments to a former Spanish referee committee official. Police in Spain have searched the headquarters of the country's football referee committee as part of a probe into payments made by Barcelona Football Club to a firm owned by a former official of the body. Welcome back on Pitch Talk. These payments, spanning from 2001 to 2018, have prompted bribery charges against Barcelona and calls for their potential expulsion from the UEFA Champions League. The core of the controversy lies with Jose Maria Enriquez Negreira, vice president of the Spanish Football Refereeing Committee from 1994 to 2018. Barcelona allegedly paid millions of euros to companies owned by Negreira during his tenure. While Barcelona claims these payments were for technical reports on refereeing decisions, prosecutors suspect a more sinister motive that of trying to influence referee appointments and outcomes in Barcelona's favor. With bribery charges now levied against the club, Barcelona potentially faces harsh punishment, including a Champions League ban that would prove financially and competitively devastating. As the scandal develops, here's an in-depth look at the key details. According to prosecutors, Barcelona paid around 5.5 million pounds, 7.7 .7 million dollars, to Negreira's company, Dasnil, 95 between 2016 to 2018 alone. In total, payments from 2001 to 2018 amounted to over 5 million pounds. These payments occurred during the presidential reigns of both Sandro Rosell and Josep Bartomeu. Notably, they ceased once Negreira stepped down from his committee role in 2018. The timing and large sums have raised suspicions, prompting the opening of a court investigation in 2022. Both Negreira and his son Javier Enriquez Negreira face charges alongside Rosell and Bartoma. Barcelona acknowledges making payments to Negreira's company, but insists they were for legitimate technical reports. As club vice president Rafael Yuste stated, the club hired the services of an external technical consultant who provided in video format technical reports related to Barcelona players as well as players at other clubs. The club claims the confidential reports provided inside detail on refereeing decisions and greater context on incidents during games. This information supposedly helped Barcelona strategize and provide feedback to players and staff. Barcelona has denied any attempt to improperly influence referees or game outcomes, stating the motive was receiving specialized analytic insights, not match-fixing. As Eusti emphasized, at no time did these reports make reference to refereeing situations relating to FC Barcelona matches. The club has always worked dutifully and transparently with institutions. However, investigators remain skeptical of Barcelona's explanation. To them, the large payments to a senior refereeing official imply an improper quid pro quo arrangement. As the investigation continues, various suspicious factors cast doubt on Barcelona. First, the payments occurred during years when Barcelona enjoyed great success, raising questions if match results were unfairly influenced. Additionally, no invoices or evidence exist of actual reports being provided. Prosecutors have found nothing validating the services Negreira supposedly rendered. Furthermore, no other Spanish club paid similar fees for refereeing insights, making Barcelona's payments unprecedented. With Negreira in a prominent role in appointing referees and influencing decisions, investigators infer he sold his influence to provide Barcelona favorable treatment. Whether concrete evidence substantiates this belief remains uncertain. If solid proof emerges of unlawful actions, particularly match-fixing or attempts to illicitly sway referees, UEFA would likely come down hard. A Champions League ban of one to three years would be possible under FIFA or UEFA rules against undue influence in games. With Barcelona already facing financial turmoil, exclusion from their chief revenue source, the Champions League, could have ruinous consequences. Their rebuilding process would suffer greatly without the income, sponsors, and talent attraction the elite tournament provides. For now, Barcelona remains innocent until proven guilty. But the seriousness of the charges means the club must mount an aggressive defense to avoid harsh repercussions. Their Champions League fate next season hangs in the balance as prosecutors assemble their case. Josep Bartomeu, Barcelona's president from 2014 to 2020, came out staunchly defending the club against bribery implications. He insisted the Negrera payments were routine business transactions, not under-the-table deals for referee favoritism. In an interview, Bartomeu stated, 
I know the subject well, and I guarantee that it is completely legal. The clauses in the contracts were legal clauses in a commercial agreement. It's very common in clubs. Bartomoy did acknowledge the transactions occurred under opaque circumstances, saying, perhaps an error was made in not explaining them publicly, but there was never any bad faith. Regarding the lack of evidence for services rendered, he countered, the reports were delivered orally. There are no papers because it was an oral presentation that was held at Camp New or at meals in restaurants. Overall, Bartomoy blamed the scandal on political motivations, claiming authorities sensationalized the case to smear his reputation and Barcelona's image. However, his statements are unlikely to quell the firestorm engulfing the club. As media speculated on punishments, La Liga president Javier Tabas sent an open letter to Barcelona president Joan Laporta demanding transparency. Tebas urged Laporta to clarify if Negreira provided any reports, who approved the contracts, and whether current executives were involved. He criticized the club for showing little collaboration with the investigation. Laporta hit back that Barcelona had hired an independent firm to audit what occurred and would take appropriate actions once conclusions emerged. But Tebas's intervention shows La Liga itself wants the scandal handled above board. With evidence murky, Tebas stopped short of recommending specific sanctions. Yet his naming of Barcelona in an open letter indicates La Liga is taking that matter very seriously. In late February, UEFA confirmed it was opening a formal probe into Barcelona's alleged referee arrangements. The investigation will be carried out by UEFA's Chief Ethics and Disciplinary Inspector, who will decide if charges are warranted. UEFA's probe notably came a day after the Spanish court escalated charges against Barcelona from corruption to the more serious allegation of bribery. This tougher charge implies prosecutors feel they can substantiate ill intent in the suspect payments. For Barcelona, UEFA's involvement is a concerning escalation. It means possible Champions League expulsion is now firmly on the table and at the discretion of European football's governing body. UEFA will work in coordination with Spanish authorities leading the case. However, they can level sanctions even before any criminal trial concludes. With Barcelona's European status and revenues in jeopardy, their looming UEFA Judgment Day could shape the club's fortunes for years to come. For Barca executives, UEFA's final ruling will be a moment of truth. Unsurprisingly, Barcelona's rivals have seized the chance to push for strong punishments against the Catalan club. Both Real Madrid and Sevilla have formally joined the case as per judicados, or injured parties. This allows them to access case evidence and arguments. More crucially, it means they can advocate for penalties if misdeeds are proven, including potential Champions League expulsion. Real Madrid arguably has the biggest incentive, as weakening their arch nemesis would provide a competitive advantage domestically and in Europe. Sevilla's intervention also aligns with their team president's calls last year for any corrupt clubs to be kicked out of La Liga. Both clubs are seeking four-year Champions League bans for Barcelona, as well as stripping them of recent La Liga titles. It exemplifies how determined rivals are to see maximum sanctions imposed. As the investigation proceeds, does Barcelona face a realistic threat of Champions League banishment next season? Based on past cases, Barcelona could plausibly face a one to two year Champions League ban if bribery and match fixing charges are proven beyond a doubt. However, such a harsh penalty remains unlikely for several reasons. First, there is currently a lack of solid evidence, which makes meeting the burden of proof difficult for prosecutors. Second, Barcelona can emphasize the presumption of innocence since no verdict has been reached in a trial. Additionally, UEFA would be cautious about banning a legendary club like Barcelona without airtight proof due to potential backlash. There are also financial risks for both Barcelona and La Liga if an extended European ban is enforced. Will Barcelona be able to prove their innocence? How will this scandal impact Barcelona's reputation? Let me know in the comments section. And if you like this video, hit that subscribe button to get the instant analysis from Pitch Talk for more football updates.